Okay, let's start with the server side script that um, the server uses that I've um, used. Now, what I did was I went into the server and I went into SmartFox extension. I went in the server folder, there's the server folder. Then I went SmartFox server folder into the server directory and in the SmartFox extensions, I modified the DB extension advanced. Dot .as file and made db extension advanced to dot .as and if we take a look at it I've got it here I'm going to talk about it briefly all right this is the um, extension and the way the extension works it tells you right here is basically um, as as far as the extension is loaded into the server when the server is run and then there's a few functions that every extension has to have. Now I think every extension has to have a function called init, right? And in there, this um, dbase equals server get database manager. So that's the first thing that happens here. And I, I didn't change that. This is all built in. Then there's a function destroy. This is also has to be built into every uh, extension that you write. Okay, and there is a template to write a uh, server-side extension that comes with SmartFox. And then this one is called handle request. So this function right here will handle requests from your client movie, from your um, Flash movie that's in website. So this one, this function handle request does the um, brunt of the work. There is a um, function here called um, there's an if statement here called if the command equals get data. So from the client, if I send a get data command, the server will get it, and then this function will execute, and then all of this code here will execute. And what this code is doing right here is talking to the database and getting the database, getting the data from the database, and that's it. And um, I can show you the code here basically um, there's this part right here and you can see that it's basically getting the data it says var SQL equals select asterisk from users order by username well the table in my database is called users and the first field is called username okay and then there's a few lines there and it says also it'll formulate a response so response dot underscore command is get data so it's going to send a response called get data to the client also and so right near it's setting up its response it queries the database right here and from the database I took out the built-in lines of code that were getting um, data from a database of ID name location email and I changed them to match the fields that I needed from my database and then this item is this information is um, pushed into an array and then the server sends a response to the user right and then we've got some other ones if the command is update data okay we've got some um, stuff that it'll do here and you can also um, add data to the database in case a new user logs in and wants to save their avatar and then delete data which I didn't change at all this is a uh, delete data I didn't change that at all and then function handle internal event um, so these are basically four functions handle internal event which I did not change um, and then this one handle request which I did change I changed the get data I changed the update data and I changed the add data if statements three if statements that I changed okay and let's see here scroll I thought that's handle request then there's the function destroy which I did not have to change and the function in it which I did not have to change and then um, the first uh, usable line of code here that's not commented out 
var d base, which I did not change either. So there wasn't a lot of changes. You've got four functions in this database extension advanced two file, and you only really need to change one of the functions. And all you have to do is modify it so that it talks to your MySQL database instead of the example files database. And so that's that. So we'll talk about this file later because I'll go into more detail about how it's working and some of the things that I did in the get data command.